When you open up Visio, you'll see this Getting Started with Microsoft Office page. We're going to do a basic flowchart. You can either select the basic flowchart option in the Getting Started section, or you can go to File, New, Flowchart, and Basic Flowchart. This creates a new page. You can change the formatting of the page by going to File, Page Setup, and choose Landscape, or Portrait, the page size. I like to work in Letter and Landscape, and select OK. The, on the left, you'll see the shapes which you can bring up by going to view shapes window and you simply create a flowchart by dragging the shapes onto the work area, the page. It starts off with a basic coloring, font, and font size. I like to change it to 12 point and the font that you like to work in and then give it a text color and give it a fill for the line color let's make that darker you can fill the, the box You can change the width of the line. So let's make that a thick box. You can make it, let's make it dashed. You can drag it to the shape and size that you'd like. And to type, you can either click the box and start typing, or you can select the box, hit F2, and start typing. To get a feel for what it looks like, set it to 100%. And there you go. So let's make the color of the box a lot lighter. Here you go. We can make it bold. Now we can format the look and feel of the text by going to here. So I did that by right clicking and selecting text. You, can, you have many options here. If you want to change the alignment, so that's left centered, you can hit apply to see the changes live before closing this. Now if you want the box to be on the top or the bottom, you can do that as well. You can also make the box transparent if you need to. You can create bullets. I'm pretty happy with how it looks right now, so let's select OK. Now if you right click the box again, you can go to Format and Fill. You can give the box transparency. You can also give it a pattern. So since this is a light color, it would be hard to see, but this is squares. You can also give a box a shadow. So if you need to make it pop, that's one way to do it. And shadows are usually transparent, so it's good to make that little light. You can change the color of the shadow if you like. If you want a purple shadow, you can do that. And you can give the shadow a pattern just to make things interesting. Now let's right click and format the fill. Nope, we just did that. Format can change the behavior of the line. You can make the box beveled. I mean rounded. You can make it square-like. 
can change the transparency. So let's do that. Now it, this is something that's really good to do. Is the behavior. Now what you'll find is that when you connect shapes, the shapes, will, the lines that connect the shapes, will automatically readjust depending on if there's shapes in between the lines. So what will happen? It'll round around. So for now, we're gonna leave it set how it is before. But we're gonna come back to this. Now, what I like to do is copy and paste the shape so that I don't have to redo the formatting settings. Now you have connectors, so you go to here, you can connect box. Now I'm going to connect to this box. So as you see, the line wrap moves around the box. So what I can do, if I want that line to go through the existing box, you can modify the behavior, so format, behavior, and the placement, and do not lay out and route around. So if we do that, we'll see that the line now goes through the box. So if you, for whatever reason, need to make sh uh, show that the process can skip uh, this this part of the process, then you can do that. Now you'll find that if you leave the connector tool selected you might accidentally start creating lines so once you're done with the connector it's better to go back to the pointer tool so now let's format the point in the connector so we're going to make that a really thick line we're going to make the color a reddish now we're going to add text i'm going to hit f2 for convenience Okay. Hit escape. Now we can fill that. I'm sorry. So let's give the text a darker color. I want this to be a bigger thing and I want it to be Verdana. Let's make that bold. We got left or right. You can also right click and format as needed. And you can also do the same thing with arrows. If you don't want to go through the reformatting, copy and paste it and then connect it to where you need it to go. There you go. You have all these different shapes you can work with. Now, if there's a shape that you see that's not listed in the shapes window and you want to add, you can go to File, Shapes, and look at the different types of different shapes that you can work with. So let's say I wanted to add a, let's look for a, Go look for a different shape. So I want a computer and I want an iMac. There you go. You can also add text to the drawing that's not part of a shape. So you can do that by dragging the shape formatting the box, the shape font like you normally would. Give it whatever properties you prefer. Okay, now if you don't want to spend too much time formatting, you can always select theme and give built-in predefined color schemes. So let's try that one. See, it changes everything for you. So it's a simple way to reformat everything if you don't want to or have the time to.
put too much time into formatting everything. Now, instead of using connectors, you can also use lines. So to view those, Sorry, I'm just looking for it right now. There are very many different types of things you can do. Um, I'm having trouble finding it. I'll come back to that later. Now, some other thing you can do is let's say you want to make this connector a certain size. There it goes. So you click here in drawing. I like to snap it in here. So you can do that. Okay, so now you have a line. Now let's say you want this line to start here and go there. And then you can format it. Let's say let's make it a double arrow. Now if you need to, you can change the length of the arrow. Let's say you made it too long, you want it just a little shorter. So you can do that manually by bringing up the size and position. So we're going to make that 3.5 inches. You can also say, okay, you know, I actually want it at 30 degrees. You do that. Now if you need to make the box, the line, go around the box in a certain way. You can start it, so you let go, and then you continue again by clicking on the last point that you left off on. And then let it go, and then click on the last point you left off on. And you just continue repeating that process until you get the desired type of look. Okay. Oops. So you hit. So you saw that the line didn't go straight. So I hit. I hit Escape and Control Z. Control is undo. Now, if you find that the line wants to go off in its own angle, just ho hold the Shift key, and it'll force it to be straight. And then let go of the left mouse. Oops. Do that again. Let go. It's forcing it. So here's a good part where you can extend the shape later. So let's say we want to move this. Come back to this. Then extend the shape. And then we go back and move this to where I wanted it to be. Now you see that the line looks covered, so we want to send this backwards. Send it back. And we want to bring this forward. So now the line is above the shadow. And then now you can format this as well. Let's make that a double ar arrow. And 
and there you go your first process so that should be enough tools to start your own first process thanks I hope this helps